Hey parents, it's Dylan, Kids Minister here at Plum Creek, and wanted to give you a little bit of an update. As you've likely heard by now, we have decided as a leadership to go ahead and cancel our on-site services here this Sunday as a result of the coronavirus. This was a prayer-filled, wisdom-filled decision at the recommendation of both um, health organizations like the CDC and the World Health Organization, as well as government officials and other community organizations. And we're doing this with the best interest of our congregation and community um, in mind because we recognize our weekly gatherings are a large gathering of people. And we know that when a large gathering of people come together, this increases the risk for people uh, to catch the virus and to, to spread the virus. And so we want to prevent that at all costs. However, although we're canceling our on-site services, it doesn't mean that we're canceling service entirely. We are going digital this week, and you'll be able to check out our services online through Facebook or YouTube. But I wanted to go ahead and let you know what we as a kids ministry are doing because we think it is important to go ahead and provide kids with resources this weekend so that they can grow as well. And so we're going to provide video teachings for kids that are going to include a time of teaching and worship. We're gonna do a preschool and elementary lesson. Those are both gonna be videos coming from me this Sunday. You can check those out on our uh, Plum Creek Kids Town Facebook page, also on YouTube or our website. We'll be sending out information about that. We'll also be providing you with lessons that you can do at home with your kids that follow up from the Bible teaching videos. These will be low prep to no prep lessons and they'll only be items uh, that you already have inside your home that you can use to teach these lessons and do these activities with your kids inside the home. Last thing I wanted to let you know about that we're doing, and, and just it's really a reminder, is the ParentQ app. This is a great resource. It's something we talk about a lot around here, but you can download the ParentQ app. It is free on Apple and Google Play Store. This has all the videos that we usually show on Sunday mornings, as well as uh, questions and, and uh, the uh, Bible verses and memory verses that we are teaching kids on Sunday morning. So I encourage you to go ahead and download that app on any of your uh, smart devices so that you can have that and use that as a resource at home. The last thing I wanted to let you know about something we are providing you with is conversation guides as well as a Parent Q podcast episode to how to help your child navigate this situation if they are dealing with any kind of anxiety related to what's going on. I encourage you to check out those resources and use those conversation guides to help guide your conversations with your kids if your kids do have some anxiety and worry about what's happening in our world. But I do want to just kind of share with you a little bit something that's been on my heart in all of this, and that is every moment we have with the child is an opportunity to impress the truth of who God is into their life. Every moment matters with our kid, including these moments during this time. And although this situation of the coronavirus that's happening in our world is very serious and we should not take it lightly, I also want to make sure that we understand that how we respond to what's happening in our world teaches our kids something. The Bible is filled with stories of people, people like Daniel, Moses, Jeremiah, and the Apostle Peter and Paul, faith-filled believers who had all kinds of terrible situations surrounding them, persecution, plagues, all kinds of bad things just come around them, and yet, it did not alter their faith. It did not change their hope and their trust still remained in God. And that's one of the truths we actually teach here that you, you can trust God no matter what. And I encourage you that during this time, you impress that truth on your child, that what's happening in our world around us should not dictate how we trust in God and it should not alter or change our faith in Him. Our foundation and hope is in who He is, not in, what, not in what's happening in our world, because the reality is what hap what's happening in our world is always and constantly changing, but God is the one thing that is constant. As a church leader said in all of this, this virus is big, yes, but our God is bigger. And I think that's an incredible truth to share with your kid and your child and all of this. And I encourage you to be open and honest and have good conversations with your child during this time because it's important for them to know that life sometimes is filled with scary situations. And, and we shouldn't take what's happening in our world lightly. We should take 
precautions and take measures to, uh, to keep ourselves and others safe, but also we should make sure that our hope, our trust, and our faith is in God alone. He is the one thing that's constant. He is the one thing that's sure. And we know that in the end, he'll bring everything to completion. Everything will be made right, good, and perfect. If we continue to put our hope and trust and faith in him, we will see that through. So I encourage you to share that truth and all of this with your child. And don't forget that how we react and respond in this time is teaching our kids something. So be sure to impress the truth of who God is even during this time. I hope you find all the tools and resources that we're providing you with this weekend helpful. If you have any questions or, or need help navigating any of those resources, please reach out to me at dylan at plumcreek.org. We are praying for you and for your kids this weekend and hoping that what we're providing you with can still impact your child's life and an opportunity for them to grow deeper. Praying that God will use this as an opportunity for our church to reach out to our community and bless them during this time. I hope you join us in prayer for all of this and what's happening in our world, in our community, and in our church. Uh, but just hoping that all these resources we're providing you with is a great tool. So please let us know if you have any questions. Thanks so much for listening.